All right, so this question, the last part of this, I don't know if this is for you, Matthew, or maybe it's uh, he's referring to Patrick. I don't know. It's definitely not me. Uh, so AJ asks, how can you set up data flow so multiple people can edit entries? Thanks and stay sexy. <laughs> I think that that one is definitely for Patrick, but since he's not here, uh, I may be able to uh, to respond anyway. So the the way that multiple people can edit entities is by having those people serially take ownership of the data flow. So only the owner can edit, and that's how it works today. And and if one person needs to edit today and another person needs to edit next week because the first person is on vacation that second person needs to take ownership then they can edit there is no multi-user editing today one of the ways that i have seen some customers structure their data flows to uh to work around or to minimize the impact of this limitation is to have a data flow for each author inside the same workspace. So each author has their own place where they're doing their development. And then there is another data flow that has linked entities that reference the upstream data flows where people are working uh, so that downstream authors can consume and do whatever they need to do. It's not ideal. And the, you know, breaking things down with a data flow per author, it doesn't fit into every multi-user scenario, uh, but it's, it's basically the one successful workaround that I've seen customers doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not, not the best or most complete story today, but rest assured that every time that I talk to the data flows team, this is one of the top issues that are on my curmudgeonly list of, uh, uh, of complaints. Requests, requests. Yes, yes. Desires. Sure. Yeah. So Chris Wagner uh, commented on that. Uh, <laughs> I don't disagree. <laughs> I don't think anyone disagrees with that. Uh, and then uh, Jason Himmelstein asked if this is maybe hinting at something coming down the pipe. Uh, I So <laughs> I'm not sure how to interpret today. Yeah, so no, I don't expect that today. Uh, the if if I were to if I were to think about the the emphasis in data flows, so data flows are a self-service data preparation tool. They're really designed to have the ability for a Power Query user, so the person that's comfortable in Excel or in Power BI Desktop, to create these reusable data assets in self-service BI uh, applications. And for that core scenario multi-editor, multi-owner uh, capabilities is not really key. But what we're seeing over time is more and more organizations, and this is, at least in my experience working with large customers, this is the norm now. It's that they're recognizing that a lot of the, the self-service analysts, the citizen analysts that are working in Power BI Desktop, you know, data reuse isn't really a key priority for them. It's not something they think about a lot. It's the center of excellence. It's the BI team in IT or, you know, however, you know, whoever is doing the work for the benefit of others, they're the ones that are doing more and more data flows development, which makes multi-user authoring or at least a easier and less disruptive way to have ownership change for serial editing. Uh, that this is something that the data flows team is very aware of. And and I'm never going to speak publicly about somebody else's dates uh, and roadmap. That's So uh, Ross made a comment also, having worked with data flows in an enterprise environment, it was actually much better having them as a single author, uh, only change it with proper auditing. Although I would say too, if it allowed for mul multiple authors to, to edit an existing data flow, I would hope that auditing would track that. So I don't... Uh, so, so you, you would hope, but that that scenario, the need for auditability and change control and versioning, this is one of the things that, or one of the 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 capability areas that is important for the the non self service authoring, and it's one of the reasons why instead of having you know something simple and quick that we might have delivered already, uh, we're definitely looking at what does a team need for a successful collaborative development, not just pushing out a feature that, that solves an immediate problem. 